seven months into the pandemic and the coronavirus numbers are climbing in Massachusetts. But is it a second surge? Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. We begin tonight by giving you the latest numbers. 827 more people have tested positive and 15 more people have died. The positive test rate for the day is 4.7 percent. As WBZ's Tiffany Chan reports, doctors are bracing for an increase in cases, but that doesn't mean it will be as bad as last spring. As we move into the winter months and it gets tougher to be out in open air as people move indoors, one local epidemiologist explains what she's most concerned about heading into the second wave. I think that what we are seeing is that as the weather gets colder here, cases are going up. The coronavirus numbers aren't as bad as they were in, say, April in the height of the pandemic, but Tufts Medical Center epidemiologist Dr. Shira Jerome says hospitals are preparing for a tough winter. I think that we also know that we tend to see spikes or small rises after holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, and so when you put those things together, and as a doctor uh, and as someone who works in a hospital, I can tell you we're nervous about it. We are bracing for it. In so-called COVID-19 red zones like Framingham, most people are still taking precautions to stay healthy as we approach those winter months. I've been pretty cautious the whole time. Um, I mean, I'm making sure I'm washing my hands and I have like hand sanitizer with me like everywhere we go. Dr. Jerome says those steps are definitely effective, but as people move indoors, we could see coronavirus cases go up. I think we have to anticipate that all of those things will contribute to continued rises in cases. Even though being vigilant is important, many people are feeling COVID fatigue. I'm ready for it to be over. Dr. Jerome says all the things that we've been taught to stay healthy, wearing a mask, washing our hands, sanitizing surfaces, those things are still going to come in handy come winter. From Framingham, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.